So this here is uh, the final episode of my one month research, which I dedicated myself to studying about AI, learning from the experts, not uh, people like Sam Altman or uh, Elon Musk, or um, let's say uh, Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai, whatever they write, whatever they say, or the news, which is always spelling out gloom and doom to get views. I decided um, that I would study research papers uh, from people who have actually written about it, who, whether you succeed or fail, they don't lose anything. For them, it's just the truth that comes out based on um, research and analysis. So I decided to uh, listen to the the words of one is Demis Hassabis. He's the CEO of Google's DeepMind. He's the one, the main guy. And uh, another one is Darren is Moglu. I hope I got his name right. He's a top economist from MIT. Now, Demis Hassabis, who is the CEO of Google DeepMind, which is Google's AI division, he has he has an amazing track record. He has won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2024 for creating AlphaFold, an AI tool that figures out protein structures. He was also knighted, so he's called or known as Sir Demis Hassabis. In an interview, he spoke about AGI, what it stands for, Artificial General Intelligence, the Future of Work, and Google's plans for AI. He founded DeepMind and was the first to solve the puzzle of intelligence and use it to fix major problems. Uh, he has dedicated almost 20 years of his life to this mission. He believes that there's a 50% chance, okay, that means 50% yes, 50% no, uh, that AGI will arrive in the next 5 to 10 years. Is uh, the year is 2030 to 2035. Now remember, it's 50-50, heads or tails. I was wondering why is he so optimistic and then, you know, it just dawns on you. Man, this guy is the CEO of Google DeepMind. Uh, whatever he says impacts the stock value of ABC or Google. Obviously, he's going to speak something positive. He's not going to say, no, we are stuck. It's like expecting Tim Cook to say, Apple products right now are shit. And uh, the intelligence that is a CD or whatever it's not happening AI Apple intelligence is a failure do you seriously think Tim Cook is going to tell you the truth never so in the same way when Demis Hassabis he makes a statement about Google's AI technology where billions of dollars are being pumped in where shareholders values are there you think he's going to tell you the truth obviously it's going to sound positive According to him, looking 20 to 30 years, if everything goes right, diseases will be solved, energy problems will be solved, climate change will be sorted out, cancer, everything, everything in the world will be perfect. Which, um, you know, is more like Elon Musk saying that we are going to colonize on Mars and we are going to live there. He claims that because of AI, we will live healthier, longer lives, travel in space, stay in space, colonize the galaxies. Galaxies. We have not been able to land on the moon. Again, not been able to replicate that but we'll conquer galaxies, yeah. Right now, humans are not good at sharing resources. Duh, I don't think they would ever. Uh, climate change is still a challenge because nobody seems to agree. But the abundance of AI could stop this win-lose mindset where one person gains and other person loses. Sounds nice. It sounds nice. Uh, it's like me telling you Iran and USA. After AI comes, they will shake hands, embrace each other. China and Russia and USA will be the best of friends. They'll share their technology. They'd want each one to grow. Sounds nice. And he also claims, uh, according to him, he sees a vision where uh, energy would be very clean. There'd be no water shortages. There'd be no diseases. There would be no problems with the climate. So perfect, happy, happy world. <laughs> Google DeepMind, um, which I find very hard to uh, you know, buy or believe. But on the other hand, you have Darren Ace Moglu, a top economist from MIT. He also is respected in the circles. Now, I found him a bit more practical. Not because, um, because he confirms to my bias, but rather he gives simple practical advice. I want to uh, see if you can get your hands on his published paper, A Simple Macroeconomics of AI, published on April 5th. I read that. He believes AI will not replace jobs. Okay, will not replace most jobs or change the economy as fast as people claim. He believes that in the next 10 years, AI will be part and parcel of our lives, but it will automate only 5% of the jobs, which once again, I also believe that is very practical. 10 years is a good timeline. 
the only boost that it will give the global economy or GDP is by 1%, which also I agree because uh, let's say, for example, they, they come out. I just watched a video uh, just now where uh, YouTubers are creating AI avatars, gamers are creating AI avatars. The whole script is AI generated. The character is AI generated. The production is AI generated. One guy has 80 videos, 80 per day, AI generated. So I was just thinking, wow, it sounds so nice. Just imagine, as it is right now, we are generating billions of videos, mm -hmm. billions, okay, per day sometimes, I think. So if they come up with 80 billion videos, how many videos can you and I see? If you can see one, you're seeing my video right now. Anyway, do you think you have the time to see 80 videos, 80 per day? So, like I told you, you know, they, they, they come out with all these theories and it sounds nice. But if you use a little bit of common sense, you would know that it's all bullshit. So, in the same way, what he said is the total global economy, the productivity, efficiency, most importantly, the profit, the profits that you get will uh, only increase by 1% GDP. It's a big contrast to those, especially at the top, like Sam Altman, who believes AI will overhaul everything, routine tasks, see, routine tasks, like basic software coding, IT checks, accounting work, grammar, writing an article, that is all easy. That's like a Google copy paste, okay. But AI is not good at uh, having human judgment. It doesn't have any. Uh, making tough choices, which have model values. It cannot think like a CEO. It cannot perform like a doctor, okay. Uh, it struggles with social interaction. It cannot understand and team up with people. It cannot be involved into teaching children, being sympathetic and understanding towards different children, uh, being able to read nuances, or uh, dealing with old age people, or being, let's say, a nurse, you know, nursing. AI cannot handle tacit knowledge, which you need personal experience for. And uh, if it has to fix issues, it has to be given the possible scenarios or the possible solutions. It can't create from its mind a new creative solution. Uh, and if it tried and it failed and there were casualties, well, that's the end of that AI. It cannot do physical work, cannot do construction workers, jobs, cleaners, mechanics. Uh, and if you say, yeah, yeah, it can, of course it can. How much does it cost to have one robot? How much does it cost to have one worker from Bangladesh? Simple maths. So if you have, say in Dubai, there's a new project, 20,000 laborers, 20,000. You think uh, they, have, uh, they can afford 20,000 or say 1,000 machines which will do the work of 20,000 laborers. What about break, breaking, wear and tear, maintenance? Use common sense, Baba. Just use common sense. Today's AI is uh, smart at handling old data. However, it cannot outperform top humans because it cannot copy the gamut of personalities, emotions, feelings, which is very complex that only a human being has. AI shines where there is a clear-cut answer, but predicting um, it cannot. It cannot predict uh, things with intuition like how a human being can do. Most real-world problems don't have a straightforward solution. Uh, tasks which are easy for AI are generally clear facts. But when you complicate a problem with many variables like politics, human emotions, feelings, biases, it cannot. It can define what they are, but it cannot uh, manage all of them. AI also needs uh, help where grasping context, emotions, sarcasm, humor, one-of-a-kind situations, spotting things which are out of the blue, making decisions based on unpredictable parameters. It can't do that. Do you think AI can be a business leader? People will say, oh, yes, yeah, of course. Okay, create one. Create one and show me. Let it run the country. Um, is Moglu warns people stop hyping up AI and stop chasing AI. The reason why they're doing that, according to him, which was... I mean, he nailed it on the head when he said it is because they have to keep the uh, investors happy. Many bosses are pouring money or companies into AI because they are afraid or their company will fall behind. And yes, there is pressure. Look at the pressure Apple is facing because it's not dumping enough and more money into AI. AI, uh, he also says AI is being used as an excuse to terminate people, to cut down cost, to lay off people. And he's saying that does not help. AI is just a tool. Um, he gave a lot of other points. I'll just summarize a few, which I feel may add value to you. Uh, AI is not good at replacing people. AI is good at assisting them. AI is good at empowering them. AI good, is good at making them better at their job. Uh, there's also a productivity paradox, which I thought was very powerful. What he said is, see, uh, 
you put a lot of investment into AI and you're expecting to get a return fast. But when the returns don't come, now what do you do? Do you wait? Uh, how long do you wait? And that is where the CEOs and the big bosses of AI companies, they keep lying to you so that you don't panic. Just imagine if Sam Altman says, it was all a hype. I'm sorry we have failed. Finish. The whole market will collapse. Um, once again, he still sticks to what he says. He'll automate 5% of the jobs. He'll not replace in the five, next 5 to 10 years. Um, he also states that uh, there are a lot of challenges related to infrastructure, electricity, in terms of availability of AI. I mean, who all uh, are using right now AI? It is only because funds are pouring in. and uh, But these companies are not profitable. He also believes that 95% of the companies will shut down. Uh, AI, as for his research, AI has not advanced since 2022 uh, after versions like uh, ChatGPT 3.5. They claim that it's you know making leaps and bounds. But then again, who wants to see a cat video or a funny picture? I use funny pictures on my thumbnails. I use, I've seen those videos which people upload. But then, end of the day, yes, it looks nice. Where is the revenue? Like, I can put a script into AI and say, make this better or make it grammatically correct or make it exciting. But then again, am I generating any money? Like, for example, I put all this content here. I said, please uh, check for the grammar. Please uh, check if there are repetitions. Please check if uh, there are any facts which are wrong. All this is great. But then if only 10 people watch this video, What's the benefit? Do you understand? Lucky for me, I'm not dependent on these videos for revenue, but there are a lot of people whose business is dependent on revenue model. So if they don't get the money back, then what's the use of investing into all this? So at some point, it's the point of diminishing returns. And that is where um, Ace Moglu concludes by saying, yes, there's a lot of hope for the future, but one has to be grounded, realistic, and use reasoning when making a lot of these speculations. Thank <laughs> you.